Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be reviewing the Go Pack 2 by Air. Let's get into the review. Let's get the intro out of the way. If this is your first time here, then welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers mainly, but also lifestyle products just like this one today. So if you're into that type of content, then please consider hitting the red subscribe button right down below. I would truly appreciate your support. I am on the road to 1000 subscribers by the end of this year, and it would truly mean so much if you could help me out. Anyway, you're not here for that. Let's get into their review of this Go Pack 2, which I've been using for a few months now and I absolutely love it. Let's get into some of the specs, the prices, materials, and features. And then we'll head into the things that I really like about this bag and what I don't really like about it. And if overall it's something that's worth your money. So if you don't know the company Air, their mission is to create the best travel gear that is minimalist and also functional as well. So Air actually created the Go Pack 2 as a packable travel day pack. So they intended it that you use it while you're out and about traveling and uh, you need to put some stuff in your backpack throughout the day. That is the actual purpose. Let's go over some of the details of this bag. So this size of this bag is 20 liters. So it's not a huge bag, but it's also not a small bag. Uh, perfect for that, you know, day trip. And for my purpose, using it as my commuter bag from to and from work. And so that's been working for me. The weight for this bag is 1.3 pounds. So really not that heavy at all. But the reason for that is because there's not a lot of uh, extra features in it. Uh, because it is intended to be a packable travel day pack. And the price for this is $99 USD. And now that Air is shipping to Canada, they do have Canadian prices on their website. I think you have to spend like $330 for free shipping to Canada, which if you buy the uh, City Pack Pro, like no problem, you'll <laughs> hit that uh, minimum shipping amount. But anyways, uh, in Canadian, it's $160 Canadian. So the dimensions for this bag is 17 inches in length, which is 43 centimeters. The width is 11 inches, which is 28 centimeters. And the depth for this bag is 5.5 inches, which is 14 centimeters. The materials for this bag are lightweight 210D Cordera, crinkle nylon exterior, and soft woven lining for a premium look and feel. So this bag has YKK zippers. It has Duraflex plastic hardware, easy grip Hypalon zipper pulls, soft woven lining for a premium look and feel as I mentioned, designed to pack flat inside luggage or carry on backpacks, Main compartment for spacious storage, suspended laptop pocket that fits up to a 16 inch laptop, interior zipper pockets for secure storage, easy access front pocket with a magnetic fastener, quick access top pocket for small items, exterior water bottle pockets, and a luggage handle pass through. Here are some of the things that I really like about this Go Pack 2. I love the design of it. It's super simple, minimal, as always, from Air. That's really their mission for their company. And so the, the design of it is something that I really enjoy. It's really, really lightweight as well when there's nothing in it. It's a super light pack that you can really put into your suitcase uh, or even a carry-on if you just want to have this in there. And it's very spacious. So let's talk about the front pocket here, which I think is a little bit unique because I think most backpack companies will put a pocket in the front and then put a zipper on it. Whereas this backpack actually has this magnetic fastener on it, which I really like. It's really easy to open really easy to clip on. I really don't keep much important things in here. What do I have? Tic Tacs, um, some hand cream, and that's pretty much it for here. 
and you know it's a really quick access pocket if you want to keep gum in there or something I, I wouldn't keep like my wallet in there because people can just put their hand in if they really wanted to it's pretty deep too but it's a very spacious pocket that I just like having quick access to that I will just kind of sneak in there uh, again nothing really important and then the other game changer pocket is this middle pocket in the top here small compartment but big enough to fit the essentials. So my work bag is usually in here. I do put my AirPods in there, probably shouldn't, but it's just so easy. It's really easy access for me. And I just leave it in there. Half the time my buds are in my ear anyway uh, when I'm commuting. So, I mean, they can, if they wanna take the case, then feel free. Uh, I also put my keys in here as well. I just think it's a really nice, quick, easy access. Uh, just to have on the top there but if you're traveling like you obviously don't want to put like your passport in there or anything it could probably fit your passport mm -hmm. but not a place where you want to keep that maybe some people will keep like small toiletries or like gum or whatever they need to in this pocket but i love this pocket as a commuter because it's just really simple to grab things out of it if i need something really quick moving on to the other parts of the bag it has two water bottle pockets on the side and they do dip into the actual backpack a bit so just keep that in mind but remember this is a it's supposed to be a packable travel bag so you know there's not a lot of bells and whistles compared to like the city pack pro or something like that right so of course my trusty water bottle here is always in one of the pockets if it's not a water bottle then it's my coffee uh, mug or tumbler that i have that will put in there in the winter months and then I always keep an umbrella with me because you just never know. And then I also keep my sunglasses in there, tucked in there so a lot of people can't really see it. So that's in the other water bottle pocket for me. It has very simple air branding right there. It's on a little piece of, I guess you could say rubber. Uh, and it's just kind of, it's really simple and minimalist, which I really like. And the other thing is, that this bag color is just different. And so I chose to go with, I think this is the olive color. And so I went with olive and I just really like the color of this bag. And it's something different from the traditional black that I would probably tend to purchase. So heading into the main compartment of this backpack. So I have a lot of things in here because I just am a person who is very anxious when I don't have the things I need at the time. So what I'm gonna show you is what I have in my backpack. I know this isn't the purpose of the video, but I just want to show you how much you can actually pack in this bag here. So I have my planner here. I have a pack of uh, Kleenex branded tissue, which I always have. I always have a reusable shopping bag because we don't have plastic bags in Toronto anymore. Uh, pen, which is always handy. Sub gum. Uh, I have my essentials pack here, which has pretty much like everything you can think of under the sun in this thing if I ever needed something. I have a portable charger. My little tiny wallet where I keep like my gift cards and things like that because my wallet's pretty minimal and uh, it's like pretty compact. My wallet, of course, is also in here as well. I also just have a pack of masks because sometimes you just never know these days. We don't tend to wear masks a lot, uh, but as the winter months are coming and commuting, uh, you may want to mask up just to prevent, not from COVID, but just any type of airborne illness that's going on as well. So I just keep it just in case. Don't really use it that often because we don't really use masks that much, but it's just something that I like to have on hand. I think the reason why I like this bag so much is that I can usually fit my all that stuff that I just pulled out, plus my actual lunch. So my lunch tends to be bulky sometimes because of whatever I'm eating. And so I will sit it inside of this backpack. And I think because of the way that this bag is kind of curved like this, it, it gives room for my lunch to actually fit in where I'm not really struggling to zip up the backpack itself, which I typically really enjoy uh, because that is the biggest thing for my everyday backpack is being able to fit my lunch into the bag. 
uh, so that's easy to put in and easy to take out when I get there. And so I don't struggle with that at all. I did struggle a little bit with the Lulu lemon bag, not a lot because it's a bigger bag, but just the shape of it because it's like a regular rectangular, rectangular type of backpack. Uh, I think that's why I struggled a little bit, but because this bag is like domed a little bit, I think that helps in terms of a uh, bulky lunch or putting anything else where you're really stuffing this backpack. Uh, so I really enjoyed that and is probably the most important feature for me. There are only two things that I don't like about this backpack, but I think the reason why I don't like it is because Air didn't intend to make this backpack as an everyday commuter backpack, so keep that in mind. There is a laptop pocket in this bag, which I utilize every single day when I go to work. I'll either pop my 13 inch MacBook Pro or my iPad 11 inch in here, either or, or sometimes both. And they work great. Like the, the pocket is, is there, it's spacious, it fits, no problem. The only thing is it doesn't have a separate pocket for that. You actually have to open the whole backpack to take those items out from the laptop compartment. I wish there was a secondary zipper for your laptop, but again, this is a travel packable backpack. And so why would you need that if you're just kind of using it as a day pack, right? The other thing is, is that it doesn't really have, it does have padding on the back of the backpack, but it's super flimsy. Like you could bend this up and pack it up and fold it if you really wanted to, to fit into your luggage, but it doesn't really have too much support. But again, I'm not really carrying that much in here as, as I'm using it as a commuter backpack. So that is another thing, but it's still a very comfortable pack to wear in my opinion. It's just something you have to get used to of not having like a stiff uh, back on your backpack that you're wearing. Other thing I didn't really love about it was that there's not a lot of support in this bag, but that's kind of expected if this is meant to be a packable travel day pack. Uh, it is still very comfortable. There's a tiny bit of padding in it. It has this mesh uh, type of material on it. So it airs it out, which is nice, but I wouldn't say it's anything spectacular that's gonna fit, feel very, very comfortable on you. As you can see in this video, I love this backpack. I've been using it for, again, a few months and I'm not using it for its intended purpose, but I'm using it for something that works for me. So I would say if you like a bag that's minimal and light, and you like the design of this bag and you like the color options that they have, I would definitely recommend it. The quality for it does not disappoint because you know that Air is going to deliver in terms of high quality products. I will say that this bag doesn't do too well in rain, so you may want to get a bag cover for it, which I uh, intend to purchase in the near future. But other than that, like I really like this bag. I think it's worth every single penny that they're charging. I think it was $99 uh, US and $160 Canadian. I think it's well worth your money and I really like it. I'm going to continue to use it. I don't know if it's going to beat out any other backpack in the near future, but I intend to use this for the long run and hopefully the quality uh, lasts for a long time because I don't want to switch this bag. I love it so much. It's a good design and super minimal. Definitely check out their website, especially if you are a Canadian viewer. It's now time and they have the opportunity where they will ship the product from their warehouse uh, to you here in Canada, which is really awesome because I had to send this to a third party like shipping facility and then they had to ship it to me in order to get it because at the time they weren't shipping to Canada at all. This is a really good backpack for the money. You won't be disappointed, I promise you. Let me know if you have this bag and what feature you really like about it or if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below and I will try my best to answer them for you. I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace. Bye. Hey everyone. Thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.